nested list with mathematical operators. Hi! In this video, we are going to see how to use mathematical operators with nested list. We know very well how to create a nested list. So, let us go to Python first and create a nested list called even numbers with 3 rows and 4 columns. We can do any mathematical operation on a nested list with integers. In this video, let us see examples of how to do addition first. We shall see how to add the numbers 8 and 20. If we add 8 and 20, the output should be 28. How do we get that output? So first, to get the item 8 from the first row, we should use the row index number as 0 because it is the first row and we should use column index number as 3 because it is the fourth item. Let us go to Python again and write print open round bracket even numbers open the square bracket 0 close square bracket open the square bracket again 3 close the square bracket and close the round bracket. Save the file and run the code. The output printed is 8. Now, shall we get the item 20 from the third row and print it? To get 20, we should use the row index number as 2 because it is a third row and the column index number as 1 because it is the second item. Let us go to Python again and write print open round bracket even numbers open the square bracket write 2 close square bracket open square bracket again write 1 close the square bracket and close the round bracket save the file and run the code the output printed is 20 now i have printed both the items in separate print statements so you know the row and column index numbers clearly for both items in the next step shall we add both the items to add two items we should have the items in one print statement correct so let us change the first print statement to do the addition we put a space and then plus sign after even numbers with the index 0 and 3 and put space again. Now, we need to put the second item after the plus sign. So, we are going to copy the code for the second item from here and paste it into the first print statement. So, we paste even numbers with the index 2 and 1 here. Let us delete the second print statement because we don't want it. Save the file and run the code. See, the output is printed as 28 after adding the two items which are 8 and 20. Let us see one more example. In the above nested list with the name odd numbers, can you see item 17 in the third row? From that 17, we are going to subtract the item 7 from the first row. So, what will be the result? The value of 17 minus 7 will be 10. Yes. Now, let's see how to get this output. Let us write a print statement to get the item 17 first. So, to get the item 17 from the third row, we should use the row index number as 2 because it is in the third row. And we should use column index number as 0 because it is the first item. Shall we print the item first? So, we write print open bracket odd numbers open square bracket 2 close square bracket open square bracket again 0 close square bracket and close the round bracket save the file and run the code the output printed is 17 now shall we get the item 7 from the first row and print it to get 7 we should use the row index number as 0 because it is the first row and column index number as 3 because it is the fourth item let us go to python again and write print open round bracket odd numbers open square bracket 0 close square bracket open square bracket again 3 close square bracket and close the round bracket save the file and run the code the output printed is 7 now the same way we did to add two items to subtract both the items we should put the items in one same print statement so let us change the first print statement to do the subtraction here so we put a space and then minus sign after odd numbers with the index 2 and 0 and put space again. Now we need to get the second item 
So we are going to copy the code for the second item from the second print statement into the first print statement. So we paste odd numbers with the index 0 and 3 here and delete the second print statement. Save the file and run the code. The output printed is 10. After subtracting the two items which are 17 and 7. I hope you understand now how to add and subtract items from a nested list. See you all in the next video. Bye bye.